Adonis was a beautiful young man known throughout Greece for his divine appearance and hunting skills. He possessed smooth, tan skin and dark hair, as well as piercing eyes. He became known for his great physical attractiveness, which made several women feel a strong attraction to him. His story begins when Mira, daughter of Cyrus, king of Cyprus, was cursed by the goddess Aphrodite, because since she was a child, her parents boasted that her beauty surpassed the goddess of love herself. As punishment, she made Mir feel a strong attraction for her own father. Uncomfortable with the feelings she carried in her chest, she struggled to try to suppress her feelings to the point of attempting to take her own life, but her wet nurse made her desist from that idea. Over time, the feeling of desire for her father grew even more, leading her to execute a plan to seduce him without him noticing. With the help of her wet nurse, on many occasions the woman took advantage of the darkness and silence of the night to enter the king's chambers, pretending to be his lover, in order to be intimate with him and satisfy the strong desires she had to be able to love him. Soon after, Cyrus became aware of the act that was taking place. He was so horrified, humiliated, and enraged that he tried to kill his own daughter. However, she managed to escape in the middle of a mysterious forest to save her life. At that moment, Mira begged the gods to help her escape from her fatal destiny. They took pity on the woman's crying and despair, transforming her into a beautiful tree without knowing that inside her womb a being was beginning to grow. After nine months, the tree broke in half, and from it emerged a beautiful baby, who would bear the name of Adonis. Aphrodite, who was witnessing everything, gathered the child in her arms, giving him shelter and protection. She wrapped him in a warm blanket and put him in a basket. Seeing how beautiful he was, she decided to go to the underworld to entrust the infant to Persephone to watch over and care for him in order to hide him and later have him as her lover. With time, Adonis became a handsome and athletic young man. His beauty was unequaled, like no other being. His beauty attracted the queen of the underworld herself, who assumed the role of mother for many years. Persephone refused to return Adonis to Aphrodite, which created a dispute between the two women. Seeing the controversy and disputes between the two goddesses, Zeus, god of heaven and thunder, intervened and proposed that the boy spend a third of the year with Persephone, the other with Aphrodite and the rest with whomever he decided. The only condition was that the goddess of love should not wear her belt, which made her an irresistible woman to any man. Aphrodite immediately broke the agreement and made the boy go crazy with love for her. The attraction was so strong that the young man forgot the time he would have to spend with the goddess of the underworld. Thus, together, they began a passionate relationship. Their love was so pure that Aphrodite dared to teach him the secrets of love and passion, something that would leave him even more in love. Seeing Aphrodite's injustice, Persephone, jealous and full of rage, called Ares, the Greek god of war, and told him that her beloved had a new love and that he was also effeminate. Furious, he looked for a way to eliminate the young lover from the life of the goddess of love and hoped to find the right moment to end the life and beauty of the young man. One day, the slender young man decided to go out into the forest to hunt, as it had been one of his favorite pastimes since he was a child. The goddess of love tried to warn him of the danger he could find outside, but the young man ignored the warnings given by his beloved. So, he went into the deepest part of the forest without knowing that he would meet his death. Ares took advantage of the moment when Adonis was alone and turned into a giant and uncontrolled wild boar that attacked the young man, leaving him on the verge of death. Quickly, Aphrodite found out what had happened and ran to the place where her beloved was. Lying on the ground in agony, the young man begged the goddess to do something to save him. She, in desperation, tried to revive him with her divine powers, but his wounds were deep and she could not save him. Adonis died in the arms of his only love, leaving the goddess with deep pain in her heart. To honor the memory of the hunter, Aphrodite took the blood emanating from his lifeless body and spread it over the earth. From this blood, a beautiful red flower was born that bore her name. Since then, it has become a symbol of passion and true love. <laughs>